A lovely, lovely morning here on The Weekend Show to our lovely viewers all across the world. Welcome to your poetic interlude on The Weekend Show. And I have a special package for you today because I'm going to be reading you from my new book, The Caveat Mtor. I actually went on a, uh, I went on this week, I went to two schools and I donated free copies to the children to help, um, help them have access to education, to books, and these are things we need to talk about in our society. What does the caveat emptor mean? The caveat emptor is like a buyer beware clause. You have the right to inspect what you want to buy, the commodity you want to buy before it. And that's how democracy is. We have the right to assess the right to our leaders before they become our leaders, to, to know who they really are. So I'm gonna be reading from a piece today of my book called Euthanasia of the Mind. And so soon we forget we are euthanized of our fair judgments, and our hearts are our steel stalagmites, uranium, and higher elements. Even the polonium of Maria Curie has no saving grace, say, when they fall back to the grave. And these indices are indelible and a certain myopia of your thoughts in their domineering insularity. And countless have waited for the divine encounter, but none has come. Only waterlogged and termite infested coin on air. They egocentralize their system of cruelty, enforcing taxes upon other citizens, but themselves paying no taxes, demolishing the houses of the poor for their zebra crosses, breaking down the houses of the suppressed citizen who has no voice against their biased oligarchy. And their glass houses are built on mountains that are free of such demolitions in their moralic analgesic, making happy and hazy appearances to bewilder the people. And it's not that cruel if we weren't humans, but of course we are. But there are faces that eat any right that any citizen perceives. And they themselves, the indolent leaders, were clueless. And they themselves were euthanized when they saw the labor at hand. But I can assure you the labor is not so tasking. It's more of a mental picture than an actual thought of the current reality, giving hopeless individuals the mantle of leadership while their previous accolades or scorecards of leadership was zero. It's tribal bigotry that persists to this fatwa, where the truth is wanted and stands trial soon for his execution. And what is this world without the knowledge of truth and the practice of good reasoning? What is so euthanistic to encapsulate the mind by? The mind ought to be free and not restricted by tribal, religious, and ethnocentric biases. A future without the truth is a future of mistrust due to the falsehood in the ascertaining of things done in all fairness. What salvages the truth in the midst of this euthanasia of the mind? To recall a schizophrenia that promised a lot before coming to power, and then when he develops deep austerity, he forgets the promises made to develop his nation. It's gruesome at the thought of blockading the mind with ignorance, and how long would they continue? And too soon it was forgotten that minimum wage was to be increased, that our children should be entitled to free basic education, that our electricity supply should have been constant, that our abducted and stolen away girls should have been recovered. We seem always to be euthanized by the downturn of destitution. Yes, we have the right as citizens of this country to assess people we want to be our leaders. We have that right. So that's why I wrote the book, The Caveat Emptor. As long as you can is inspect products and commodities being given to you when you're paying for them is as much right as you have being a citizen of a country and a particular citizen of your country to make rightful change, true good leaders, true purposeful democracy, true inclusion of women, youths in democracy. And these are things we hope to see in our nation, Nigeria today. My lovely audience all across the world, I hope you've enjoyed watching your poetic games. This is my book, The Caveat Emptor. I'm going on a crusade. I'm sharing this book free to all children of Nigeria. I'm not selling this book to any Nigerian child. And it's going to be free to all Nigerian children. So help me God. My lovely audience.